Hi, ladies and gentlemen, this is Robert Gibbons. I'm on my Faith Art Walk series, and I ran into a beautiful soul. State your name for the audience. Hello, State everybody. your name for the audience. My name is Austin Green. Hi, Mr. Green. How are you? I'm well, thank you. I have so many wonderful things to ask you about. This is an interview for people out in the world uh, that are artistically inclined. Talk a little bit about what you do here, in the, at, at here. Name it and tell us a little bit about it. Sure, sure. So again, my name is Austin Green. I currently serve as the Director of Art Center Programs here at the Dream Yard Art Center. Uh, Dream Yard is a social justice and creative arts organization located in the Bronx, New York. Um, and our goal and mission is to really try to open and, and encourage pathways towards equity and mm -hmm. justice for everyone in the Bronx and really far-reaching throughout the right. world, um, right. really through the arts. Right. I want to give you a quick story. I have a friend by the name of Frida. You might not know Frida, but her son attended one of your summer camps, and she said... Um, to me, when I told her I was coming here, she said that Dream Yard was one of the best experiences that her son ever had during the summer. So that's that's a great that's a great plug for you all. Can you please let was it Frida? Uh huh, Frida. Can you please let Frida and and her son know that we said thank you very much. Okay. Next question: How important? How how do you how important is upholding young boys of color? to you. How important is that to you? Very, very, very important. Very Why? Important. Well, as, as you know, uh, it's not a mystery. The images that we see, the images that we inherit, the images that are given to us don't necessarily represent the wide range of humanity, the wide range of, of, of depth that we have um, as black folks, as, as black men, as black people. Um, so art is a tool that we can use to really reflect and show the wide range and show the depth because not everyone is going to fit into an archetype of gotcha. the community. It's true. It's not true. everyone is going to fit into an archetype of what it means to be from New York, from the Bronx, to, to be a black man. It's, it's a wide, wide range, and it's all beautiful. And how does Dream Yard support young men of color that, that live in this neighborhood and and struggle from services or education or social justice or any of those things that you urban young men of color suffer from? How does Dream Yard address those issues? Well, one of the most important things is we open our doors. Mm -hmm. We open our doors and we invite young people to come inside and experience artwork, not just as recipients of art, but also creators of art. You know, we, we live in a society where we're taught to be consumers. You can come here to Dream Yard and you can create art. And if you need, like you said, services, if you need resources, if you need support, you mm -hmm. know, if your family is going through a tough time, mm -hmm. it's not just a place to make art. This is actually a place to build community. Gotcha. And that means all of those things, all of those needs, we will do our very best to meet those needs. And if we can't, we'll try to connect you. That's good to know. So name some of your programs here so that people that are out there in, in, the, in the Bronx or in the New York City area know what programs you do here. Absolutely. So we have uh, middle school and high school, after school, and Saturday programs. Mm -hmm. So our programs run Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday mm -hmm. after school, right. and on Saturday. We also have paid summer internships and fellowships within the creative arts fields. Um, we have a number of adult programs. Oh, like poetry, yeah, and writing I, workshops for adults. Right. There are a number of resources. We're in school programs. We have teaching artists that go to our Bronx public schools. Awesome. And teach art in the school. So there are a number of resources. That's I awesome. And you come on down to Dream Yard. Yeah, that's right. A few more questions for you. Thank you, Mr. Green, so much. This is a wonderful interview. Um, how does how will my audience know about you? Website, address, where you are located. T just give us one more plug in for that. All right, so it is Dream Yard. We are located at 1085 Washington Avenue on the corner of 166th Street in the South Bronx. You can find us online at dreamyard.com. You can also find us on Instagram. You can find us on Twitter. I think they're calling it X now. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Dream Yard or Dream underscore Yard, and you'll be able to find us there. One last piece of inspiration for my for, for people like us that are in community, building community, in, in social justice, and in education, actually. Give us one last piece of inspiration, deep from Mr. Green. I want to say it like this. We are a people that inherently are connected to each other. We have a past, we have a story that connects us to each other. We need to remain connected through our art, through our legacy, through our struggle, because if we all do a little, we will all receive a lot. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Austin Green of Dream Yard. Thank you. Thank you, Pat.